Hey guys, I hope you're having an amazing, inspirational, and relaxing summer. In this week's parsha, we find a fascinating story of the daughters of Tzalafcha. Tzalafcha was a man who passed away in the desert, and he had no sons, just five daughters. And when introducing them, the Torah tells us they were from Shevet Menashe ben Yosef. And Rashi explains this is because what they were asking for was a chance to inherit land in Israel. And they learned this love for Eretz Yisrael, for our homeland, from Yosef. Although Yosef had left our homeland, Eretz Yisrael, over 20 years before everybody else, he asked everyone to promise that when they returned to Eretz Yisrael, they would bring his coffin and bury him in Eretz Yisrael, which we did in the city of Shechem. Rashi points out that this deep love for Eretz Yisrael is the same as the love that Yosef had. Rabbi Moshe Feinstein asks, it's somewhat different. Yosef just wanted to be returned with his people, while the children of Tzalavchat wanted to own land in Eretz Yisrael. How could this be the same love? The answer, Rabbi Feinstein explains, is because people want to really be a part of Eretz Yisrael. Not enough just to visit or see pictures of or watch videos of, but to really own and make it their own and be part of the history of Eretz Yisrael. Tzalavchat's daughters understood from Yosef wanted to be buried in Eretz Yisrael that they should also own land in Eretz Yisrael. And that, my friends, is how we're supposed to view and feel toward Eretz Yisrael. During this time of the three weeks, we're sad because although we have Eretz Yisrael, it's not completely our own. We don't have a Be'en HaMikdash, and we're still lacking some of our connection with our homeland. Let's keep this in mind as we continue on through the three weeks of Tisha which hopefully we will celebrate as a holiday, and we will merit in rebuilding the Holy City of Yishalayim and making Eretz Yisrael truly our own. Shabbat Shalom. <laughs>